welcome or welcome back to my channel being louisa so today's video i want to quickly tell you guys about my elective that i want to do and then also tell you guys about something that both myself and my best friend have encountered in practice in our two separate trusts and kind of what it made me remember about being a student because i know being a student we have this feeling like that we're inferior to others but we are not and anyway so i'll give you more of that pep talk later on but first of all i just wanted to talk to you guys about my elective but before i get started please if you like this video give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe as well but yeah there's two things if you don't follow me on instagram this is why i'm reiterating these things so that you guys kind of get the updates that i update on instagram as well so one i was thinking about doing vlogs more often so i will do basically a sit down video and a vlog each week hopefully if I can get my booty together <laughs> and actually film and edit things. But yeah, so that's an idea. Let me know if you like it. I'll put a poll up there. Should I do a vlog once a week as well as a sit down video once a week? Let me know. And then also I was thinking about doing merch. What do you think? It would be hoodies, it would be t-shirts, it would be probably bags as well. It will have my either my Bean Louisa logo on it or it will have one of my sayings which probably would be i'm not a very social being i think that's what it was one of you guys actually re-quoted what i had said in a video and i think that's what it was but i'm not sure if it was you and you remember please can you re-comment that down below so that i can make sure i get the quote correct or it will be of course as i say at the end of all my videos keep on being you on bags t-shirts jumpers let me know what you think there'll be some cute designs hopefully and also i have things that as i say dreamer on it and stuff like that as well and then hopefully if i do get into doing merch for the graduating class so probably when i graduate as well i'll have things of class of 2020 midwife established a midwife est 2020 and really cool things like that but let me know what you guys think about that as well so again there will be another poll up here in the card section please vote to tell me what you think about that but yeah now let's get into this video I have decided, I don't know if I've seen it in the description of a couple of my videos, but I have actually decided that I want to go on an elective in March. So in my university, they offer three week period of when you can go on your elective and it counts towards placement hours and you'll be going to wherever you wanna go. You can be within the country or out of the country and you'll be learning basically what midwifery is like in that area. And obviously you wanna choose something that will support you and your applications for jobs and for your interview process for when you're getting jobs. So I have chosen to do my elective in Ghana. So I'm super excited because I've never been to Ghana before and I've actually never been to the continent of Africa. My mum has been to like Egypt. She actually came back from Ghana not that long ago. She's been to quite a few places and I have not. So yeah, so that'd be really cool just in that cultural experience anyway. But also in the sense of midwifery, it'd be really interesting to see how these midwives who don't have as many resources as we have support the whole pregnancy period and then labor and birth and postpartum. So it'd be really cool to see that. And also if I'm lucky enough to meet some traditional birth attendants and learn some of their tricks and tips, because I'm so into learning from elders and learning from people who do things a different way to us, because I think that is awesome to learn those new things so yeah so that's kind of what i'm hoping to get out of it and the reason why i'm telling you guys is because i've I, is because i am humbling myself and asking you all for your help so my financial situation has actually changed from how it was at the beginning of the year because student finance has decided to change how much they want to give me and they're giving me way less so i am asking you guys if you guys can if you guys can donate as much as possible to my gofundme page i'm not asking for loads i didn't realize though that gofundme only allow a minimum of five pounds for a donation i didn't realize that i thought you could do a pound but anyway when you put in your donation they will ask if you want to put more in to help support the gofundme website you can always click no or just put zero because they actually take that money anyway out of how much money i get so i don't know why they put that option there but anyway so it would be so appreciated if you guys could donate to my campaign you can go onto gofundme and type in louise's midwifery elective or you can just click the link in the description down below like it'll be right there right at the top but yeah so that would be so 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 appreciated yeah <laughs> thank you in advance and yeah so basically also just to break it down if you don't read the whole thing it's to pay for the work the world registration fee which is 300 pounds to pay for the elective which is around 
I think what the world for two weeks is about 1,200 and something, 1,300, and that's to pay for your accommodation, your transport from the airport to the city, a chef, food, your actual placement in the hospital, um, supervision and stuff like that. And then also it'll pay for the flights and then also it'll pay for so many also it will also pay for all the injections and malaria tablets that i need to get as well and my visa so it's quite a few things it's going to pay for basically and if i raise enough it would also pay for an extra week and i'd go to one of their clinics that's outside of the hospital and a bit more rural and i'd get to learn more what it's like in a rural area but yeah so <laughs> it's a lot it will pay for and i've got a lot to pay for so every little helps but yeah thanks in advance now let's get on to this main video so basically what i wanted to get at so myself and my best friend have both experienced moments in clinical practice in our new trust where things have been like so i for the most part i've like had an amazing time and so is my best friend we've had like really good times certain times things will happen we're like oh we didn't do that in where we used to work but that's just how it's going to be but then also there's times when because i think as well is that we're all changing we're all rotating and sometimes registrars and SHOs and all those people like sometimes people move trust anyway so things are done differently and so in our two respective trusts there is a different type of hierarchy anyway in both of our trusts and things have happened and there's been moments when I've been like oh if I wasn't at work you would be seeing a different side of me that you would never expect <laughs> because certain things have been a bit like okay then also standing up for 12 and a half hours doing night shifts especially when you all have a bad back because of a car accident is not easy or fun so when someone does something to like hmm you're a bit like hmm <laughs> so i don't know if that made sense but if that made sense give me one of these emojis down below because you know it but yeah so and then also with my best friend someone did something and it was kind of just like she might as well have just called her student and not even her name you know what i mean like it's one of those things like it's respect like we should all have respect for each other and just because we are students doesn't mean we should be treated a different way it's actually kind of funny because i think we had like last week we had all this week it had been mentioned somewhere that that someone had been called student and they didn't even realize that they've been called student and not their name and one of our lecturers were like well that's really bad because it is it's like it's respect thing like obviously the things that happen to us i'm not going to say them exactly explicitly but there were things that were that's basically as bad as slash worse than being called student like there was no respect in either of the things that happened to us and it kind of just makes you at first think okay i should be put in my place like i shouldn't say anything i shouldn't retaliate or anything obviously not retaliate but i shouldn't like say anything back i should just hold my tongue and just keep it pushing but i actually i'm not gonna lie to you <laughs> i went to my practice supervisor and i was like oh my gosh this is what just happened because my practice supervisor had actually just had been out of the room and she was coming back in and i was like this is what just happened like i know we we're like semi not in a rush but we we're semi like in a high intensity situation because of what's about to happen but like this is what she just did to me and my practice supervisor was like that's not okay i'm like no it's fine just like forget it whatever i just wanted to tell you because i need to get off my chest let's just keep it pushing let's just go she was like it's not okay and that was the second time she had to tell someone off as well that night i love her by the way <laughs> i like the fact that she went and spoke to them at first it made me feel a bit weird because i'm like oh i don't want to be like a troublemaker but then it's like she showed me that she respected me so much more than i respected myself at that time because she was willing to stick up for me and tell this person that's not right and that's what you kind of just need you need to like realize like if something doesn't seem right to you tell the person who's superior to you so tell your practice supervisor slash mentor tell your cpf tell the oh, i'm always i always get this wrong pma i always get that title wrong but like tell someone and be like hey, i don't actually think this was right because you don't have to get a whole consensus of the room like is this right you just gotta be like i personally did not feel that this was right and so you gotta stick up for yourself because sometimes nobody else will i'm lucky enough that i had a practice supervisor who did stick up for me but sometimes not everyone will stick up for you so you've got to stick up for yourself obviously do it in a professional way because you're in a professional environment but make other people aware and be like i kind of do require some respect <laughs> basically i just wish my best friend would have had someone who would have got, had her back as well in the situation that she had but yeah but it just made me realize like as students we think that we are less than because there's a hierarchy of like doctors consultant midwives senior midwives labor ward coordinators midwives 
than us <laughs> and it's like no that is like maybe like how it is technically but it should not be that way we should all be able to respect each other and give each other like the same kind of level of this is kind of what I expect because I expect that in return and I will give you that as well. That's kind of what you should have and not a student go and do this for me. It's like Louisa. That's my name. Thank you for using it. <laughs> so yeah. Anyway, so I just wanted to kind of like add that in at the end so that you guys could have a nice little story time and a little bit of a stick up for yourself. Just because you're a student doesn't mean you're worthless. If you don't know what's going on or you need some help, don't be afraid to ask because there are people out there that will help you in your placement areas. But yeah. So I hope you guys enjoyed this little video and again thank you in advance for those of you guys who are able to donate to my GoFundMe campaign so I can actually go on my elective to go and yeah so until next time keep on being you. If you like this video give it a thumbs up, comment down below with any questions or suggestions and don't forget to subscribe to get weekly updates. Bye you!